Greeting in the name of the King. Once again, welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. Now, I want you to turn to um, Matthew, the 19th chapter. And I'm going to speak on what Jesus was speaking about. From the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth from the beginning. Now, there's a little things going on now. There's so many things going into the world, information and misinformation. The only way you can avoid from being swayed or deviating from the kingdom message is when you don't have a solid foundation. And I always stated that uh, without your faith in the Word of God, not your faith in your religion, not your faith in your denomination, not your faith in the man of God, whoever he may be in your part, but in faith in God's Word, that's your foundation. Now, there's so much going on in today's Society that it causes me to even uh, quench. I, I, you know, uh, kingdom citizens, you don't get involved in the world system as per se. You don't become argumentative. You don't become uh, uh, debating on scripture. Uh, debating on scripture is is is, is comparative to uh, uh, God said something. And you're debating with somebody else what they believe, what they don't believe. No. When God says something, it's law. From the beginning, it was law. But um, man failed to obey that and take God at his word. I want you to understand. I want you to see this uh, saying when Jesus made the statement. And he answered about man and wife and man should not divorce his wife. Um, my key point here is from the beginning. Um, and um, you'll 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 see this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, debate going on now. I see a lot of uh, lesbians and and um, just the other just today I seen what two lesbians on the church, the Baptist church. Now I want you to understand some. Don't get bit out of shape. All those who believe in the word, don't get bit out of shape. But that that's religion. Don't get bent out of shape. You don't have to go fight nobody. That's religion. All you have to do is stand on the word of God. You don't have to fight them. You don't have to debate with them. No, that's religion. The kingdom is a government. I'm going to say that again so you can, have, uh, you, you can understand what I'm saying. If God says it's wrong, then it's wrong. It's not up for debate. Now, so when you hear about lesbians and, and those on the down low and in church and they become bishops and all of that, that's religion. It has nothing to do with the kingdom. The kingdom is a government. Don't get all riled and raved and bent out of shape. No, they have to answer to God for themselves. What you do is stand on his word. If God says it's wrong, it's wrong. If the Lord says abomination, it's abomination. You stand on his word. Stand firm, not as a concept of religion, but a kingdom concept. You see, a kingdom citizen goes to work. They play ball. They do everything else that your body can do. You, you work on the Saturday. You work on the Sunday. You have a family. But your standards are different. You don't have to go around preaching that unless the Holy Spirit gives you to do that. But don't be unseemly. Stand on the principles. I meet them every month. I go to stores. You see people who, who don't know who they are. In the kingdom, there's no, uh, uh, you, you, you don't have 
two women loving one another. You see, the world look at lust as love. I'm going to say that again so you can really get it. The world system views lust as love. The term making love comes from the world system. Are you feeling me here? God never said that. See, love is in, true love is anticipation. I'm not going to go into about the Aras and Eros and for, for, for Delhi. No, I'm not going into those. I'm telling you what the word is. I'm not going to make it complicated for you. Don't want to make it complicated. Jesus said, when, he, when Jesus spoke, it was like a child could understand it. See, the world sees love and call lust love, but it's not. I was talking to a man the other day while I was getting my car service, my vehicle service, and he he had to many many he had to confess that he says you're absolutely right. Of course, lust is an appetite. I I love lobster. But after I eat enough of it, I'm done. Love, on the other hand, is anticipation. When a man loves his wife, and women are good for this. My wife is very good on this. She, um, she loves me sincerely. You let your wife be your wife, and you treat her right. Let me tell you something. She anticipates your needs. That's love. She anticipates what you want. She inquires. A lot of times I'm sitting down. She'll ask me, honey, you want this? What can I do for you? That's love. Love and lust are two different things, night and day. Hollywood can give you a good example of that. They, they tell you about love and they get married X or Y. You see, we all had a life. I had a life. I was in another life before I got here in the kingdom concept. Totally. But one thing I will say about that, I always go back to the beginning. God forgives. Not only that, but he changes your life with a process. Now, those of you, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm touching bases a little off here and there, but I want these are things are principles that you must understand. If you want to do right, if you want to be right, if you want to be in right standing with God, you have to obey his word. I'll say it again. If you want to be in right standing with God, with the king, with the Lord Jesus, you have to obey his word. His word is very important because your word, his word, is righteousness. And if you say you love him, then you'll have faith in his word. There's no way on this planet or any other that you can say you love something or love him and yet don't obey him. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. Jesus said from the beginning, always went back to the beginning. He created the male and female. Another principle. We see now in this world society, especially here in the States, United States, this thing of lust, I was reading the other day, how a man was going to court, deciding, he said, his wife, his, his child was a boy. The mother said, He's a girl. Let me tell you something. We're living in a world now, you have to stand on God's word. Don't let nobody back you down. Because the kingdom of God is a spiritual, it's a spiritual kingdom. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, you said with spiritual, well, 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 that means that we address the spirit. Let me tell you something. Your tripod being, 
You have a body, you live in the body, you have a soul, your, 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 your personality, your feelings, and you are spirit. Having said that, when your body's gone, your soul is gone, your spirit lives on. I didn't stutter. And when that happens, that's the end of your world as you may know it. What you do now is going to have to, you have to account now because after it's over, it's over for you. Just before I leave, I want you to say this. What you do now is a foregone conclusion of what's going to, how you are for eternity. This world is temporary. It's not here for, and don't listen to the, everybody else decide that this world is temporary. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to comment more on that in our next session. Until then. Thank you.